you okay, Gabriel? <sighs> sure. Great. Why? I'm worried about you. If I were any better, Grace, I'd be dead. Now, what's up? We got that book you ordered in this morning. The one on Rada drums. Really? Great. But you got another package this morning. FedEx from Germany. I was expecting that. Where is it? Well, it kind of came open, but I salvaged the contents. It was a letter from your great uncle Wolfgang in a journal. The package just came open, huh? How'd you like the journal? Someone has to look after you. You're in trouble. In case you don't know it. Yeah, you've been reading my horoscope again, haven't you, Grace? Just read the journal carefully, Gabriel. Please. I got it. St. George's books. <clears throat> oh, Professor Hartridge, I'm glad you called. Did you... You did? Wait, slow down. The Aigri? Really? You think that's them? The wheel within a wheel. Ogun Badagri, huh? Well, that does sound like it. Gambala, the snake. That's the wavy pattern at the bottom, okay. The 1791 slave revolt in Santo Domingo. Well, why would the Veve show up there? Huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Look, I'll come over as soon as I can. Okay. Relax, Professor. I'm excited too, but you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Okay. Thanks. See ya. I wish you'd tell me what's going on. I swear you're gonna step into a hole you may never get out of. Don't look so worried. No one knows what I'm doing. I'm perfectly safe. And I'm getting some great stuff for the book. Besides, there's something about all this. My dreams. What about your dreams? Nothing. I'll be careful, I promise. Times Picayune, dated June 22nd, 1993. Disgusted with the state of the voodoo murder case, Gabriel turns right to his horoscope. The shadow upon you is no longer reversible. Wonderful. I'm going out. Have fun. Hey, Hot Ridge, what's the good word? Hot Ridge? Ah! Oh, God, not again. Something about Hartridge's death mask reminds Gabriel of the way Crash checked out. Not a pretty ending. Yeah, I can see him well enough, thanks. That would be up to the coroner. I'm not touching that body. Whatever Hartridge may have learned, he cannot share with Gabriel now. At least, not vocally. Dr. Hartridge's desk is remarkably neat. Especially considering the rest of the room. On the desk is a sheet of paper with some scribbled notes. It looks recent. Gabriel doesn't feel comfortable sitting around here under the circumstances. These notes look interesting. Cartridge's notes are scribbled on notepad paper. Mm. 
Nothing means much to Dr. Hartridge anymore. Thank God Hartridge was a doodler. There's nothing of interest in the wastebasket. The filing cabinet is locked. Before leaving the university, Gabriel notifies campus security about Hartridge's body. Does any of this look familiar to you? No, sir. I never saw anything like that before. Looks like a foreign language. Does this snake pattern look familiar to you at all? Have you noticed it on any of your customers, like as a tattoo? No. Can't say I have me. Marine Corps, is it? Yeah, could be. Thanks. Could you look at this snake bracelet and tell me if you've seen anything like it before? Nope, I've never seen nothing like that. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Whatever, man. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Dambala is an African legend about a great serpent. Uh, folklore, that's all. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Some old African god, that's all. Does the name Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? Don't talk like that around here, man. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Man, I don't even know what language that is. Do you know anything about rider drums? What I know, I wouldn't be talking about with you. Sign on the front door of Magentia's home reads, attending a channeling seminar until August 1st. Why is it so dark in here? Dr. John? Hello? Uh-oh. Gabriel is currently bonding with the museum's python. You bastard! Good day, Mr. Knight. That thing just tried to kill me. He did? I am sorry. The museum is closed today, you see, and we were not expecting visitors. But, if you will excuse me, Mr. Knight, I must go look for him. He is incredibly valuable. You don't need to ask twice. I'm out of here. By the way, you might want to lock your door next time you're closed. Not a bad idea. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. What happened to you? Who? Me? Nothing. Why? Well, you're kind of a pale green color. Come here. Pale green, you say? 
charming. What's that on your face? I'm sure you'll tell me. Looks like a sparkly or something. Got it. I love it when you pick stuff off my face, Grace. Hmm. Well, excuse me. Grace actually managed to find a book on the Radar Drum Code. I haven't carried books around like this since college. The letters are addressed to Gabriel from Wolfgang Ritter. Wolfgang's letter says, Dear Gabriel, Please read the enclosed journal carefully. It might help you understand your family's special obligations and our current predicament. God be with you, Uncle Wolfgang. Uncle Wolfgang's handwriting is bold and hurried. Gunter Ritter's diary is leather-bound. Its parchment pages are old and fragile. Gabriel reads through the pages Wolfgang marked. He reads of Gunter Ritter's journey to Charleston as witch hunter, hired by the townsmen to solve a series of ritualistic murders. He reads about Gunter's meeting with a beautiful slave woman, Tetolo, and of Gunter's tormenting urges for her. Oh, bastard. He reads of their physical union and passion, and of Gunter's investigations into the murders. The victims were all crew members on a certain slaving expedition to Africa, it seems. The second to the last entry described Gunter's plan to set a trap for the coven committing the murders. He found the name of one of the surviving members of the crew, a man now living in the West Indies. Gunter has spread a false rumor that the man is returning to Charleston. He himself will impersonate a sailor and allow himself to fall into the hands of the coven. Naturally, Gunter has arranged for able-bodied assistants to follow and attack the Coven before they can do him harm. Olsey, son of a bitch, wasn't he? Gabriel turns to the final entry of the journal. Do you know anything about this? Yeah, I read it. So should you. Do you know anything about this? Sure. I ordered it for you, remember? Oh yeah, right. Gabriel could ask Grace to use her paints and put a tattoo on his chest. But he should wait until he's ready to use it. It would probably wash off in the shower. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Have you ever heard of Dumbala? Oh, no. Makes my skin crawl, though. Are you sure you don't know anything about Dumbala? I told you, I can't help you with that. Does Ogun Badaikri mean anything to you? No, sorry. 
Do you know anything about Rada drums? No, but hopefully that book I found for you will help. There's something in the ashtray. The item in the ashtray is too small to pick up by hand. There's a snake scale in the ashtray. Looks like the python left me a souvenir. Very interesting. It's a snake scale from the Voodoo Museum's python. <laughs> Gabriel magnifies the snake scale from the Voodoo Museum's python. The iridescent scale is brilliantly hued with greens and purples. Gabriel magnifies the scale from the lake. It's hued with purples and greens. It matches the scale from the Voodoo Museum. He places the two scales together. Gabriel has matched the Lake Pontchartrain scale with the scale from the Museum Python. Gabriel cannot think of any way to adorn himself with those scales. I've got some things I need to do. Don't hurry back on my account. One of the Getty drummers watches the police station. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, yeah, what is it, you wanker? I have to tell you, bud, I'm pretty pissed off about this case being closed. You guys are making a big mistake. I'm not any happier about it than you are, Nut, but I got my order. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. There's been another murder. A professor at Tulane. Oh, Christ, you're not gonna start this again. Just listen. This guy's name is Hartridge. He was a professor in African studies at Tulane. Yesterday, I went to see him about the voodoo murders case. He agreed to do some research for me. He calls me up this morning, tells me he's onto something big. And when I get over there, the guy's dead. You know, you're really getting your ass in a sling over this thing, Knight. It's not about me. Look, Hartridge's death looked just like crashes. I'm telling you, they were both murdered. And by the same people who did the voodoo murders. Did either Crash or this new guy have their hearts ripped out? No. Then there's nothing to link either to the voodoo murders, M.O. Besides that, the case is closed, Knight. If the coroner's report asks for a homicide investigation on either of these guys, fine. But it's not going to be related to the voodoo murders case unless we find damn good reason to do so. But I'm the link to the voodoo murders case, don't you see? Look, if I were you, I wouldn't repeat that to anyone. But if I weren't an old friend of yours, I might take you seriously and lock you up. As it is, maybe you should start keeping your mouth shut. Not involve other people with this shit. You think it's so dangerous. Have you ever heard of Dumbala? You mean Gumbo? No, I mean Dumbala. Never heard of it. Does the name 
Ogun Badakri mean anything to you? Say what? Ogun Badakri. It's a Voodoo'n Loa. Speak English or shut up, Knight. Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. Guess I'll take that as a no. Does the name Ogun Badakri mean anything to you? Don't start with that again. I already got a headache. Sorry. Have you ever heard of a Shutton Jaeger? No. Ha! Is that anything like a Chuck Jaeger? I don't think there's any relation. Have you ever heard of a Shutton Jaeger? Well, not since the last time you asked. How can I convince you to reopen the case? I already told you. You need to prove there's a legitimate voodoo cult in New Orleans. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. Take a look at these notes. They're from Professor Hartridge at Tulane University. Yeah? What about them? They confirm that the pattern from the murders is of African origin. Really? It's incredible, isn't it? Something like that chewing up here? It's been here for quite some time, so it seems. I'm impressed. Okay, you've convinced me. The murders were done by a legitimate voodoo cult. Gabriel has already proven to Mosley that a legitimate voodoo cult exists in New Orleans. The newspaper clipping describes a ritualistic murder in Congo Square. It includes a rough sketch of a pattern found around the body. The sketch is very similar to the reconstructed Veve. This is a newspaper clipping about a murder committed in 1810. That murder is an exact match of the voodoo murders, right down to the marks around the bodies. Hmm. This does sound like the same M.O. 1810? 1810. They killed then, they're killing now. Isn't that proof that they're likely to kill again? That they are a threat? Okay, they're a threat. these two snake scales. One's from the crime scene at Lake Pontchartrain. The other's from a snake in the Voodoo Museum on Ursulines and Charters. Is this common? Do they all look alike? Not at all. They're both constrictor scales, and the coloring is the same. A python's coloring is quite individualistic. A python? That's right. Hardly an indigenous snake to Louisiana. Somehow, some way, the Voodoo Museum's python was at the scene of the Lake Pontchartrain murder. Well, I'd call that a lead, all right. It certainly suggests certain lines of inquiry at the museum. Not bad work, Knight. If we can tie them into this voodoo cult, we just might have something. Okay, I'll reopen the case. I hate to admit it, but you've done some pretty good detective work here, Knight. Well, you know what they say. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, point taken. Glad I could inspire you. I'll check around the department, but I have a feeling I'm on my own. In fact, I better lock up this office just in case I step on a few toes. Come on. Let me handle this. Yeah, fine.
got a second, officer? What can I do you for? Do you know anything about snakes? What does this look like? A zoo? Never mind, don't answer that. No, I, I don't know nothing about no snakes. Do you know anything about snakes? I told you I didn't, and I ain't got time to answer stupid questions. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Marie who? Is she the one that hangs out on Conti and Nash? Uh, no. Never mind. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? I told you, I don't know the girly. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? Hound what? Hound four. It's a temple. Huh. Sounds like someone's pulling your leg on that one. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? I told you, you're barking up the wrong tree. Do you know anything about animal masks? I see plenty of masks during Mardi Gras. Not many animals, though. Of course, uh, there's plenty of animals underneath. Do you know anything about animal masks? You don't want to make me repeat myself, bud. Do you know anything about Veve? Veve's? Never heard of it. Do you know anything about Veve? I told you, I never heard of it. Have you ever heard of Dumbala? No, oh, sounds foreign or something. Does Ogun Badai Kri mean anything to you? Hell no! Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Isn't that kind of the same thing? Actually, no. Well, all I know about voodoo is to keep away from it. You should too, Knight. Do you know anything about black voodoo? You keep wanting me to know about this voodoo stuff, don't you? What, do I look like someone who danced around in a loincloth to you? Do you know anything about black voodoo? No, and no, and no! Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Can't say that I have, but it sounds dirty. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? What is it with you? I said no. Do you know anything about Rada drums? I like Lawrence Welk myself. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He left for the day. Sorry. Has that beignet guy been by yet today? I'm starved. I haven't seen him in a while. I don't think he's coming by here anymore. Damn. You can't count on anything these days. It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day.
What is it? What's wrong? Gabriel? I see it, Grace. Hold on. There's no one in the shop, and I know there's no one in back. It's okay. Okay? Gabriel, that thing is still barely alive. How could someone do this? With a knife, maybe? God, don't even start. We should call the police. No. I'll take care of it. But Gabriel... I said I'll take care of it. Why don't you go get some coffee? I'll have it all cleaned up before you get back. Oh, they know where you live now. Shh. It's gonna be fine. Now go on. Are you sure you don't want to go home? I could close the shop today. No. I'd rather keep busy. I'll be fine. At least that creepy guy is gone. Oh, Not that they aren't still watching. Times Picahune, dated the 23rd of June, 1993. Gabriel finds an article about Saint Jean's Eve. It discusses the day's Catholic roots and its adoption by voodoo devotees. In the early to mid 1800s, Saint Jean's Eve was celebrated with elaborate voodoo gatherings at Lake Pontchartrain, Bayou Saint Jean and other sites outside the city. These days, the day is commemorated commercially in some of the local shops, and a few churches still hold a St. Jean's Eve Mass. Despite his better judgment, Gabriel reads his horoscope. Today you will either die or your life will change forever. Sure, why not? It is St. John's Eve. They'll be out tonight for sure. But where? Gabriel! I see it. Stay back. Special delivery, it seems. Are you okay? I'd be peachy if you'd give up all this voodoo crap, Gabriel. I'm sorry I got you involved in this, Grace. Oh, don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of this mess. It's just an envelope. I can see that. Gabriel eyes the surreptitiously delivered envelope. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual about it. The envelope is unmarked. Do you know anything about this? No. You open it. Gabriel hefts the envelope. It's fairly light. Gabriel opens the envelope and finds a note from Mosley and a small brass key. The key is from Mosley. The key has property of the New Orleans Police Department stamped on it. Right. Not anymore. It's a note from Mosley. Mosley's note says, Gabe, I have to go underground with this thing. It runs wide and deep throughout the department and the city board. I'm already being watched. It was suggested I take vacation time, so I am. At least as far as they know. Try to keep out of this. It's too hot for a rookie. Just in case, I'm sending you my office key. You might find some useful things there. P.S. I think this note will look great in the book, don't you? 
Make sure you save it. The note is signed, Detective Mosley. What an egotistical bastard. That envelope was just a note and a key from Mosley. Ah, oh, that's good. Gabriel cannot draw that tattoo on himself. He'll have to find someone to lend him an artistic hand. Will you do me a favor? What? Use your paints to copy this snake tattoo onto my chest. Now why on earth would you want me to do that? It would be a good way for us to get... closer. Really? Well, no. Come on, Grace. I really need that tattoo. Then give me a good reason. I can't tell you, Grace. It's a secret research thing. I see. Well, I'd like to help you, but I'm not allowed to do snake tattoos. It's a secret artist thing. It wards off evil. It's a good luck, Snake. Yeah, well, about that tattoo job, good luck finding someone else to do it. Oh, forget it. Fine. Gabriel cannot draw that tattoo on himself. He'll have to find someone to lend him an artistic hand. Come on, Grace. I really need that tattoo. Then give me a good reason. I'm going to a party tonight. Costume, you know. You don't say. I guess you're going with Malia. Uh, yeah. That's right. And why should I help you out when I don't even like Malia? I know you feel inferior to Malia, but, you know, get over it. Your persuasive power is astonishing, but I'd hate to use my inferior painting skills on your manly chest and ruin it for her. No. You know what they say? All the world loves lovers. You know what else they say? No. I'm sure Malia would appreciate it. Really? Do you think? Maybe she'd even let me into one of her hospitals the next time I split my head open. Imagine that. Grace! No, no, I just couldn't live with that much richness in my life. I'd rather stay the poor nothing that Malia Getty never knew. Thanks anyway. Well, if you're jealous about my feelings for her... You know that's not it. I just think, as your friend, that she's trouble. It's perfectly understandable. I know you have certain feelings for me, quite naturally. Me? I would rather be hung by my hair over a bed of scorpions. I know it must be hard having it in your face like this. No chance to avoid hearing about it, seeing it day by day. Fine, I'll do it. Just shut up. Can we at least go in the back? Sure, but... Could you say that one more time and... Pout your lips more. Ugh. What did I say? All right. Let's go. The shirt, please. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. Now. Hold still. Maybe you'd like to tie me up? One more remark, and I'm leaving. Okay, okay. Done. It's just stunning. Sorry I couldn't make it last longer. No, it was about what I expected from you. No. I can't afford to call Germany again till I figure more of this out. Are you gonna be okay here by yourself? I'll... 
I'll, I'll be just, just fine. Just fix this, okay? I'm trying, Gracie. You got no business back there now. Move along. Sorry. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. Um... We, we don't have a uh, Detective Mosley here. What? I've seen him all week. Listen to what I'm saying. We don't have a Detective Mosley on the force. About Detective Mosley. I told you, there's no Mosley here. Now get lost! I think we should talk about what's going on around here, Officer Flick. I don't want to hear it, Mr. Knight. Now do yourself a favor and keep your nose out of here. Officer Frick seems to be in no mood for further interaction with Gabriel. Gabriel can't do anything but that door from the lobby. The key doesn't fit any of Gabriel's slots. It's one of the Rada drummers. They transmit coded messages through the French Quarter for the Voodoo Cartel. The drummer is unlikely to listen to Gabriel's suggestions about moving. Can I ask you a few questions? The drummer does not respond. You know, I know who you are. The drummer ignores Gabriel and just continues drumming. Unnerving, isn't he? Gabriel listens carefully to the drums and opens his Rada book to translate. That seems like too many phrases somehow. If Gabriel's translation of the drum code is correct, there'll be a conclave tonight in the swamp. That must be the bayou. Vendor selling Bernet and Cafe Ole has taken the lucky dog vendor's old spot. Moving the vendor wouldn't be that simple. The Bernet vendor is unlikely to have information that Gabriel needs. Hello. What can I do for you, sir? What the heck are beignets, anyway? 
deep fried sweet dough with powdered sugar on top. New Orleans donuts, sir. What happened to the guy who used to be here? The lucky dog guy? Um, uh, I took over his spot. Oh, nothing. You're the boss. Excuse me? Yeah? Say, haven't I seen you before? I get around the French Quarter. Used to be at Royal and Conti. You say you used to be at Royal and Conti? That's right. Nice place. Uh, yeah. I always did pretty well there. Why'd you leave Royal and Conti? Well, the guy who used to be here, the lucky dog guy, uh, he was my cousin Ralph. He went off to college, see, and this spot came open. I thought Jackson Square'd be a better gig, you know? Tourists and all. Is it? Well, uh, no, actually. Why don't you go back there? Do you think? I, I, I've been kind of torn. Must be the weather. These thick clouds we've had all week. I'm just not seeing the crowds here that I expected. I definitely think you should go back to Royal and Conti. Really? I'm glad you think so. I always liked that beat, but I thought I ought to give this a shot. Oh, absolutely. The grass is always greener. Exactly. You're right. I'm going back over there today. So you're definitely going back to Royal and Conti? Yep, in a bit. The break in the trees marks the exit from the bayou. Bayou Saint-Jean seems denser, thicker, darker than Gabriel remembers. In the twilight of heavy growth, everything looks the same. Hasn't Gabriel seen this part of the bayou before? Gabriel's head pounds. Which way did he just come from? A cool sweat missed Gabriel's forehead. Where is he again? Gabriel can hear the sound of drums, but it seems to be coming from inside his head rather than any specific direction. This looks familiar. Damn, I'm back where I started. Something in the bayou air is confusing Gabriel's sense of direction. He could use some less susceptible assistance. Benye guy, he's back. Where? Grab me three or four, would ya? Forget it, I'm broke. Rats. You stay put. I'll be back in a minute. A vignette vendor has stopped outside the police station. He must do great business here.
the door is locked. Gabriel would not sit in Mosley's chair. There's a tracking device in the drawer. This tracker might come in handy. This device is called a tracker. Gabriel remembers a time when he and Mosley used it <laughs> illegally with a couple of babes in a white convertible. It operates as follows. The signal device attaches to an object, such as a car. The signal device emits a signal that appears on the tracker, L-E-D, allowing the object to be tracked. It's a made in Japan. It's a signal device for the tracker. I don't need to track myself. Hey. Get out of there, you. Sorry, just looking for a restroom. That's police equipment. The desk sergeant would just confiscate it. Gabriel doesn't need to start the tracker here. Gabriel activates the tracker. The tracker doesn't show anything. But then, why would it when Gabriel still got both signal devices in his pocket? Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. I wish I could afford to take Gran on a cruise. I wish I had a million bucks. I wish I had something better to rub than this stupid stump. Do you know of anything interesting going on this evening? You mean for St. John's Eve? Mr. Knight, I know of nothing that you would find amusing. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. Do you know anything about Radha drums? There are some against the wall but I do not play myself. You don't know anything about a drum code? I do not believe there is such a thing, Mr. Knight. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? No, I have not. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Of course. It is one of the Loa. What can you tell me about the Loa Dambala? Dambala is a snake lore. It originated in Africa and is also worshipped heavily in Haiti, I believe. Do you worship Dambala? Mr. Knight, in voodoo, all of the Loa are given their due respect. What else can you tell me about the Loa Dambala? 
I am afraid I have little else to say about that subject. Are you sure you don't know anything about Ogun Badakri? I am afraid I have little else to say about that subject. Patrick died getting that information. Gabriel doesn't want to endanger anyone else. What do you think of my crocodile mask? Hmm. Nice. That tractor wouldn't do much good if everybody knew about it. Why would Gabriel want to give Dr. John the signal device? Professor Hartridge said that in Wudang, a small ritual coffin is called a Seke Module. This is a Seke Module, isn't it? A small ritual coffin? not familiar with that terminology. Really? I find that odd. You may find it odd if you wish, Mr. Knight. Gabriel slips the signal device into the Seke Module. Can I assist you, Mr. Knight? Hmm? No, just looking. Now if only they take the coffin to the ritual, I hate to rush you, Mr. Knight, but I am afraid I must close the museum early this evening. This is St. John's Eve, and it's getting on towards dusk. I have things I must do. I see. No problem. I'll just leave. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. May the spirits guard you well tonight. Gabriel activates the tracker. The tracker does not show anything. They must not have taken the Seki module to the ritual. Oh great, now what? The second message made from the voodoo crosses is on the wall. Let me get these new marks down. It's Gabriel's sketch of the new series of crosses from the Laveau tomb wall. Gabriel checks the two messages for duplicate symbols and transfers the letters from the matches to the new message. He finds that he has the translation for all of the symbols, except for three. Gabriel sketched a new series of crosses from the Laveau tomb and added what letters he could match from Moonbeam's translations. It's Gabriel's sketch of the series of crosses from the Laveau tomb wall with Magentia Moonbeam's translation penciled in. Gabriel should at least wait until the watchman is gone before defacing the tomb. I think I'll leave a message of my own.
sensing that his message isn't quite right, Gabriel rubs it off in frustration. I think I'll leave a message of my own. Pleased with his message, Gabriel tosses the break down. Now, if only DJ reads it in time. Gabriel's coded message is on the wall. Gabriel pulls out the tracking device, hoping that the Sheki Madule made it to the ritual and that this thing will work. All right, there's a blip. They must be here with the Sheki Madule. Gabriel feels so turned around. Is this thing working? Gabriel does not want to turn off his only means of direction. He can follow it to get to the conclave, or go the opposite way from what it suggests to return to the bayou exit. Damn Mosley and his infernal machine. This better be working. Gabriel can barely focus on the LED with those drums in his head. He hopes he's reading it correctly. Didn't he just come from that direction? Or did? The entrance to a clearing is marked with Voodoo skulls. At last! There's no way to do that with the entrance to the ritual circle. The crocodile mask is made of a genuine crocodile head. It looks heavy, hot, and smelly. The mask has no writing on it inside or out. When in Rome, Here goes nothing. Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. John. Uh, mm, Brother Eagle. But first, name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. Papa Gede? You are no believer. You must die for violating our sacred circle. Dambala. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Who is the destroyer of men? Buddha, perhaps? Ogun Badagri. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Enjoy yourself well tonight. <laughs>
real. Get below, get below, don't take our ride. Amalia. I know you now. I can smell his blood in your veins. No. You cannot change your destiny. Or ours. No. I will find. I will destroy you! No! <laughs> Where is your necklace now, witch hunter? Where are your pretty, pretty gems? 